did it get this bad? Half a day and good evening, Guam. I'm Tina Chow. And I'm Baldo Besage for Guam News Watch. Jeff Marcheseau has the night off. Guam's Education Policy Board met last night calling for action and holding the district's leaders accountable. Here's more. Either you failed the school system or your management team has failed the school system and the students. Someone has failed the students, Dr. Underwood. After two full nights of testimony at the legislature and after being chastised by lawmakers about how she's not doing her job, school superintendent Narissa Underwood had to answer to the Education Policy Board in a closed-door meeting. Newswatch cut up with Underwood before that private meeting. We spoke to her at F.B. Leon Guerrero Middle School. The campus has drawn attention to itself because of what it's not doing about bullying. Each school is really different and they have different sets of needs so uh, those factors combined can make the difference between uh, how um, the anti-bullying policy is uh, being implemented. A policy board member told Newswatch today that Underwood was asked how the children could be in such danger. She defends herself saying oftentimes it's because she doesn't know about it. In the absence of data that is reliable, then I have to depend on the administrators to follow the standard operating procedure and the policy to report it directly to me. Underwood says a meeting with school administrators will review the line of communication and the bullying policy will be worked on. She told the policy board a team is being formed to help address the issues at FB. For now, interim principal Erica Cruz will walk the halls and protect the students from the so-called outgators. These students ditch class, hide in the jungle, and throw rocks. They even go as far as challenging leadership to try and catch them. Cruz and Underwood both agree that change will come to FB Middle School as parents get involved. It was noted that by the PTO uh, officer that they only had 15, 15 parents that showed up in their, their meeting. But however, we have 1,200 students. Underwood, Underwood will be given a chance to respond to the policy board during its next meeting on December 1st at 6 p.m. at DOE's conference room. A policy board member invites anyone that has felt they've been treated unfairly by DOE to speak up. 